Introducing The Fruit of the Spirit Love Joy Peace Patience Kindness Goodness Gentleness Faithfulness Self-control These are the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Okay, so I put together this bowl of fruit. We're going to do it again, okay? Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. So as we talk about having good fruit and being um, producing good fruit and sharing that with others, it reminded me of a song called, I Wanna Be Like a Tree. Here it goes. I wanna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to keep me strong. I wanna be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord. Cause the deeper the roots grow, the more my life shows, blessings bloom out for all to see, all to see. I want to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the Father to keep me strong. I want to be like a tree planted by the water, trusting in the name of the Lord. So friends, as we've been talking about the fruits of the spirit, we made this cool chart in our house. I want you to see it. Here they are. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, can you see that? Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of those cool fruits. But why in the Bible does it call them fruit? Do you think they're really talking about apples and bananas and oranges? No, they're talking about fruit because fruit takes a long time to grow. You can't just snap your fingers and have a piece of fruit. It takes a tree and the tree has to be well taken care of. Sometimes even the tree won't produce fruit for a whole year, but you still have to water it and fertilize it and take good care of it. And that's kind of like our lives. We're a little bit like that tree in that song I sang, I want to be like a tree. Because even if in that moment you're, you're watering and you're trying, but nothing really happens, soon there will be fruit. And we want people to look at our lives and look at us as a tree and say, look at that fruit. You can see in Miss Jean's life that she has joy. And you can see in Miss Cam's life that she is gentle. And we have to practice these things over and over again. So as we practice them, I have a challenge for you, friends. Each week we'll talk about a new fruit of the Spirit. And if you do an action that practices that piece of fruit that we talk about, the, the love, and you do something that's love, and send me your what you did, what action you did to show someone love. 
and you tell me about it, you can win a prize from me. Sound like fun? We've got nine weeks to do this. So I hope you guys are practicing your fruits of the spirit as we learn more. Hi friends. So this is our second week talking about the fruits of the spirit. And we've talked about how sometimes they're related to real fruit, but really God's talking about our lives showing other people that we are Christians. And we sing that song, I want to be like a tree. And we want to bear good fruit so other people can look at us and say, that's Jesus in their lives. So last week, the fruit that we talked about was love. I'm curious, did any of you guys practice showing love like God told us in John 3, 16? He loved us so much that he gave his only son so that we could know how much he cares about us. So now we get to take that love that God has given us first and share it with others. Tell me, how did you share God's love? Well, this week, our fruit of the spirit that we're talking about is joy. We're talking about joy. There are many verses in the Bible that tell us about the joy of God. Let's read Nehemiah 8, 10b. This is a, this day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. In 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18, it says, and Philippians 4, 4 and 8, it says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it and rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So many times in the Bible, we see that things are hard, but we have to choose to have joy. And for that joy in our lives, in those hard times to be seen by the people around us. How's this week gonna go for you guys? Can you show the joy of the Lord in your life to the people around you, even when things are hard? I can't wait to hear about it. Jesus loves me, yes, 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 Jesus loves me, yes,
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so.